published to start thinking about outreach. You've got a plan of promotion already, like don't don't make it and then say right, how am I going to promote this? That should have been done first. You can't just say, oh, you know, we'll tweet about it, we'll put it on Facebook, we'll uh, maybe we'll submit it to a couple of sites and our mates who own a, a blog. No, you know, that's just not going to work. I would start by the contacts I already know and seeing if they're interested in the type of link bait I'm going to produce. A little bit of outreach to a couple of warm leads or people you already have some kind of contact with who you think would be interesting is a good step, it's good for proof of concept. I need to be able to hit a minimum goal before I even produce this content, before I even start thinking about it, uh, to avoid complete failure. I might try and get a couple of my link targets either on the phone, on the phone's great if you can, or via email and just sound them out, just sort of say something like, I'm thinking about doing something like X, Y and Z. Like, what do you think of those ideas? Do you have a strong preference? Is that something you'd really like to see? Is there anything else you'd like to see? And I'd probably try and involve them again. If you can get them to say, yes, I'd be interested in a piece of content about this, you've kind of already got the link, so you've not lost anything. If I come back and say, no, I wouldn't link to it, you can ask them more. I've got my guaranteed five people or ten people that I'm, I'm going to get links from or uh, they're going to help me promote, then I can start doing the rest of the stuff. Uh, so everywhere the competitors have, if you can, uh, if it's appropriate, uh, know exactly where your competitors are, know exactly where your competitors' stuff has ended up before, um, know exactly where your stuff's ended up before, you might be able to put stuff on again. So you'd cherry pick the people who you'd really, really, really like a link from. You're not a PR agency, you don't need to get something on the front page. You just need to get a link and a followed link. So and I think it's quite nice to treat bloggers um, like strong blogs with respect, treat them a bit like press, tell them you're going to do it in advance, say we're sticking this out to the press, we can send you the same stuff at the same time. Those people you're probably going to either get on the phone or send them a customised email or sign up for lunch, that kind of stuff. The other guy on the other side of that email isn't a machine, he's actually a real person. You're building a relationship, you're not just building a link, and then you can also use that again in the future. Being able to shake his hand before that and having a relationship before that makes everything so much easier. Typically your client should be the, the one uh, establishing those relationships and us telling the client basically how to shake that hand. Getting to know people. They're communicating with them in the way they want to be communicated. And so you know not to flirt with them on a Tuesday morning, but to send them cupcakes after Wednesday the 31st, because that's when they always have you know, meetings with their mother-in-law. Also, persistence. Know who you want to call. Let them know in advance it's coming. Remind them it's coming in advance. Tell them the day before via email, and then call them and tell them you're sending it. And then call them again the next day. And sometimes you have to call them again the day after, and sometimes the week after. You speak to them about the website, mention some stuff that you like on the site. Ask them what they think, because they know far better than you ever were. Is this something you'd be interested in? How would you like it to take shape? But it's about knowing that what you're giving them is right. But like, if you're wary <laughs> about contacting them, then it might mean that actually this concept's not that solid, or I'm not that sure about it. I think if you find the right things to offer people, that builds a good relationship because they can trust you. PRing something you've created yourself is really quite tough. It's actually a lot easier to feel confident and assertive selling in something that isn't your own. So I've got two SEOs sitting next to each other. They swap and they PR each other still and you'll do it with confidence and the confidence will shine through. You should also have an idea of who your final reader is, not just who the sites you would like links from are, but who's the final reader, then think what sites actually communicate with those people. If you kind of think of it as a mini marketing campaign, you'd never create any sort of marketing campaign without first thinking about your audience. Just make sure you've got the right people, uh, the kind of right army behind you. You need little advocates for what you're doing. Outreach is really hard to scale without spamming. Uh, One of the the easiest way to do a reach is if you've actually got an interest in the thing. Like anytime somebody picks it up on Facebook or tweets about it, find out who that person is. If you get the right people, they'll want what you have. Just yeah, you, just an odd tweet, just something like that. Just so they know who you are, just so they're aware of you. And then you start to build up this little army of people. So when you make something, you can push it and roll it out. Because uh, it's not just about getting that one link. If you get people to use that as a resource, they're then even more likely to share it secondary uh, to other people in the work, people they know, friends put it on Facebook, 
kind of once you've once you've then got a finished product and got something to give them, hopefully they're already a little bit excited about it because you've already kind of let them know it's coming.